Hello everybody, this is Ian Lamont and the founder of the Lean Media book blog and video channel available from leanmedia.org and today I'm going to be talking about editing a collection in Shopify. A quick disclaimer, you're responsible for following Shopify's terms and conditions and be very careful when you follow any advice that you find online. Make sure it works out for your business or for whatever you're doing and what you see may be different than uh, what I am about to show you either because the, you have a different type of Shopify plan, you have a different type of Shopify theme or perhaps um, you're watching this far into the future and Shopify has changed everything. So let's go to a Shopify store that I operate. It's a brand that I own. It's called uh, In 30 Minutes uh, Cheat Sheets or CheatSheets.store. And you can see I have a whole bunch of um, I have a whole bunch of think products on the front page. These are actually collections. So one collection is called Google Cheat Sheets. Another one is called In 30 Minutes Books. And then I have Microsoft Cheat Sheets. And if I click on one of, if I click on one of these. I can see um, everything in the collection. So this particular cheat sheet, Microsoft Cheat Sheets, has a bunch of cheat sheets. I can also see that it has a bunch of books. And what I want to do is I want to edit the collection so those books aren't showing up. And this is how to do it. So I'm going to go to my Shopify interface, um, go to Products, Collections, and then you find the collection that you want to edit. So let's take a look at this one. So this is an automatic collection. And basically, what I said is if the product tag is equal to Microsoft or the product tag is equal to Microsoft Office, then it will show up in the collection. And the problem is, I call it cheat sheets, but it actually includes books too. So what I, what I can do is I can try to edit these automatic criteria so that particular item um, does not show up. And actually, what I'm going to do is product tag is equal to, I'm going to change that is Oh, it's not going to let me do that. Okay, uh, let's find another way to do that. Um, I'm going to do weight because <laughs> the cheat sheets are actually quite light. They're maybe an ounce or two, whereas the books are all more than six ounces. So I'm going to say weight is less than. It gives me uh, pounds. So I'm going to say half a pound. All right, let's see what actually let's make it even less than that. Let's make it uh, 0.3 of a pound and then click save. So I just changed the criteria for that collection for Microsoft Cheat Sheets because I want to get rid of the books. And let's see if that if that worked. So let's go to the Cheat Sheets store. Here's the old one. It has the books. I'm going to reload it. Let's see what happens. Ah, it didn't work. Oh, so one of them disappeared. So maybe I have to, so maybe I did something right there. Uh, maybe I have to go back and make some more changes. So I could do, I could do something like weight is less than 0.2 of a pound. Let's see if that works. Okay, let's reload it. And actually, you know what's happening here? It's um, these are still showing up because they're PDFs and they don't have any weight, so they would be they would still be they would still be activated. But you get the idea, I think. You know, you can change the criteria so certain things show up where they don't show up, and that's one way to edit them. Um, if it's a manual collection, it's a little bit different. You just have to go in and manually change everything. So actually, let's go back. Let's go to manual collection new. I just made this one. This is a manual collection, so I chose everything. And if you want to add or subtract, you just have to either exit out, so you know, click click off that, it disappears, or you have to add a new one and type in the type in the information. For more information on how to get the most out of Shopify, I have quite a few videos on my YouTube channel. Uh, go to leanmedia.org, click on video, and then my YouTube channel. Um, also, if you enjoyed this video, if you could like it, or even better, subscribe to me, that would be very much appreciated. I release videos like this all the time to help other people who are selling or publishing or advertising uh, use these types of services in a more efficient way, I hope. Uh, my name is Ian Lamont. Thank you so much for watching.